During the last four years of watch collecting, I achieved to hunt down two of my personal grail watches. The first one is the Rolex GMT Master II, which I acquired after six months hunt far away from my home. The iconic Rolex Pilot's watch with a red and blue bezel, well known by the collectors as the Pepsi. A watch that has been around since the GMT Masters release in the mid 1950s. Much has changed from different bezel materials to updated movements and improved bracelets. But the core elements and functionalities stayed pretty much the same over the years. The second grail watch I obtained is my Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Chronograph. The 38mm is the perfect size for my wrist, the iconic Genta design in stainless steel is timeless and the award winning movement which is the Frederick Piguet Caliber 1185 makes this one of the slimmest Audemars Piguet chronographs. It took me around one year to hunt down this piece with endless hours spent at the boutique. Over the last six months my taste drifted more and more towards dress watches and looking at my collection I feel like a grail type dress watch is still missing. So today we continue the grail watch hunt for the next piece. But before we start let us ask ChatGPT what it thinks a grail watch is. A grail watch refers to a timepiece that holds immense significance or value to a watch enthusiast. It's often seen as the ultimate watch, representing a personal aspiration or goal within the realm of watches. Grail watches can vary significantly from person to person depending on individual tastes, preferences and interests. For some, a grail watch might be a rare vintage piece with historical significance or a limited edition timepiece from a revered watchmaker. Others might consider a grail watch as one that symbolizes a significant achievement or milestone in their lives. Ultimately, it's a highly subjective term and can encompass various factors such as craftsmanship, design, heritage or sentimental value. And with that, we continue the Grail Watch hunt. Of course, there's no better place for it than our beloved Dubai Mall. As always, we can find a nice selection of cars parked at the valley. From this Lamborghini to a nice Ferrari Roma, which is actually currently my personal favorite Ferrari, to this nice G-Wagon. If you are into cars and plan to visit Dubai Mall, take a walk along the valley parking to find amazing supercars here. On my wrist today, the H. Moser and C. Heritage Dual Time and starting the day with a coffee at IWC. All the Christmas decoration is already out and besides coffee, you can grab some nice sweets here. Our first stop is at Vacheron Constantin, the flagship store here in Dubai Mall. I did a quick research up front and the two lines to check out today are the Patrimony and the Historique American 1921. Both watches are strongly vintage inspired and up to the highest levels of watchmaking. The first piece to have a look at is the Patrimony self-winding in 40mm. The case of the watch is made of 18 karat yellow gold. The case diameter is 40mm at a thickness of only 8.5mm. The watch is 30 meter water resistant, so you can basically just wash your hands with it on the wrist and it comes on an alligator strap. The dial is made of brass with our indices made of yellow gold. At 6 o'clock we have a small date window. The front side of this watch is pure and shines with elegance dating back to the 1950s. The star of this watch is definitely the back side. A 22 karat gold rotor winds the watch and has the Maltese cross worked into it. The caliber 2450 comes with a small power reserve of 40 hours but is only 3.6 mm thick. The decoration is top notch 
and it bears the prestigious Geneva hallmark. The watch sits comfortable on the wrist but appears quite big due to the large diameter and pretty simple dial. The price for this watch is 32,500 US dollars here in Dubai. There is also a manual wind available, which comes in an even slimmer case. But my preference would be the automatic date, especially with the beautiful movement behind the sapphire crystal. Who would want to miss out taking a look at this piece of art every now and then? The second piece I consider for the Grail Watch Hunt is the Historic American 1921 in 40x40mm. 40 40 this watch raises the bar quite a lot at a heavy price tag of 41,500 US dollars. This piece comes in an 18 karat white gold case, is only 8 mm thick and also only 30 m water resistant. The strap is made from calf leather and it features a brass style. The American 1921 refers to the design language of the early 20th century and the driver focused watches. The rotated dial would just sit right while holding the steering wheel and the crown at the top right corner gives a unique twist to the watch. It reminds me strongly of a pocket watch, which is actually quite cool. The painted numerals are George's and the movement here is again on another level, also certified with the hallmark of Geneva. So these are the two candidates of Vacheron Constantin. If I would have to pick one today, my catch would be the American 1921. The vintage vibes, it's also a bit more casual and quite cool that it's like a driver focused design is really cool and more special compared to the patrimony. On the other hand, it might be a bit too casual already and will be more like my Moser heritage in the collection. Moving on to Brege now, a store I visit for the first time, but since one of my friends got his Brege Marine, I keep a closer eye on the watches and got positively surprised. Breguet holds a very high status in the world of watches, thanks to their continuous innovation in the world of horology, like inventing the tourbillon watch. Also, Breguet brings heritage, like only a few other brands, as it's dating back to 1775 and numerous timepieces were created for royalty or military leaders like Napoleon Bonaparte. The design of Breguet watches is often considered timeless, due to their unique elements like the Breguet style hands, coin edge cases and guilloche dials. The first piece here is the tradition watch in 18 karat white gold with retrograde date. The case comes in 40 mm, is 12.1 mm thick and 30 m water resistant. It winds automatically via a rotor and comes with 50 hours of power reserve. This masterpiece features an open work dial, displays minutes and hours on the small subdial at 12 o'clock, decorated with the Breguet typical guilloche pattern, but also features a retrograde date, a complication that was first developed by Abraham Louis Breguet. The transparent case bag displays a gold rotor, whose unusual shape is reminiscent of that of the first self-winding watches created by Abraham Louis Breguet who perfected this system and it was his first major success during his career and till today one of the most used feature for mechanical watches. Let's check the watch on the wrist, quite a strong wrist presence and unique design. But I guess one size smaller would be the better option for me. The price for this piece is 40,500 US dollars here in Dubai. One size smaller would be the 37mm Tradition, which is a lot more wrist friendly for me and it is either available in yellow or white gold. The price for the smaller version without the retrograde is around 28,000 US dollars. Next we have the Breguet Classique 5177 here in 38mm with an 18 karat yellow gold case. The watch looks stunning. I love the painted numerals, super clean dial 
and also this watch is only 8.8 mm thick while it features a self-winding movement. The white enamel dial is certainly a highlight that will never get old or lose its shine. Once you turn the watch around, you can enjoy the beautiful movement that comes with 55 hours of power reserve. It's beautifully decorated all around and features one of the best looking rotors. Considering this watch comes at 23,800 US dollars here in Dubai, the watch seems quite underrated. I can't remember the day I saw such a beautiful movement and yellow gold case with an enamel dial at this price point. This piece is an immediate winner for me, but the decision for the next grey watch is not yet done. The second Classique features the same very well executed coin edge case but comes with a guilloché dial and Roman numerals all around. The movement is manual wind and presents you its full beauty without a rotor hiding something. Both watches feature an alligator strap. For me the automatic self-winding version is the winner, not only thanks to the beautiful rotor but also due to the very nice enamel dial. And with that we have it for today. The first day of the Grail watch hunt is over and we found some stunning pieces that are available right away without a wait. In the coming weeks I will continue the Grail watch hunt to show you more amazing watches and hopefully get lots of comments with your opinion down below. Let me know what you think about my selection, any watch and brand you would recommend me to check out for the next video and with that thank you for watching, stay healthy and bye bye.